So in this video here, I want to, um, what we got is, um, we're working Berber up next to tile, and I don't know, I'm sure everyone that's installed carpet for any amount of time has had, whenever they tuck their Berber to the tile, sometimes the edges, the row will break off, and um, it, it appears to be short, even though it won't be short. So what I want to do here is just show how I prevent that from happening. Let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it trimmed. Okay. So you want to trim it about like you would just the uh, average for the reg regular length and stuff. You can see what I got right there about maybe just about an eighth inch or a little more. About, a, about one row is what I got there, okay? So as always, I want to take it, uh, use some latex. Always fill the gully with latex. Next, I'm going to keep it from rattling. And it only takes a minute to do this. Okay. So, if you've seen my other video on transition carpet to tile, I show pulling the nap back like that and pushing down. Well, actually, that's exactly what is going to cause this row to break off, is just pushing straight down on that. So, let me get a little bit closer here so you can see the angle. Actually, if you'll take your stair tool and push it in toward the tack strip that way, rather than straight down like that, if you'll push it toward the tack strip, see that? just like that I'm actually pushing in rather than straight down okay there's no way that row is going to break off with me pushing in instead of down so okay, this one a little bit more you can just see the whole thing there and sometimes you will see me actually whenever I get done, I'll take my stair tool and I'll rake it like that on regular plush carpet. You don't want to do that on Berber because that is going to just make it look horrible. If you do have any uh, loose strings or anything like that, just go like this. Just like this right here. Again, you're pushing at an angle toward the... Uh, Toward the tack strip, not toward the tile, okay? And if you do that, you're never going to have a broken row on the edge of your of your Berber again, which is a pretty big deal because once you break an edge, you either need to restretch it up enough to get rid of that broken edge or just deal with it. So it's it's not fun when that does happen. Usually it's going to happen with a cheaper type of Berber. If you get a good quality Berber, it's not going to happen as much, but it still will if you're rough on it. See the angle right here? I'm actually leaning toward the tile, okay? All right, and just to pretty it up. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to point that out so I just wanted to point that out real quick to maybe help someone out that because whenever the row the barber breaks like that it's it's a real nuisance it really sucks and causes a damper it slows everything down because if you use seam sealer the latex in the gully like you always should then when you pull that back out to correct it it's just a big mess um, you got to restretch it up and everything like that. So if you'll follow those instructions there, just pushing it toward the tack strip rather than straight down like um, 
in previous videos I've done with regular carpet, you're always going to get good results, okay? So, once again, hit the subscribe button over there. And if you like these little tips like this, um, I would highly recommend Gold Coast Flooring. Um, he's got some awesome tips, awesome videos on patching carpet. I don't, I don't hardly ever do any patching and repairing and stuff like that. This guy is an absolute pro at patching carpet and repairs just all the way around, installing and everything. He's got some excellent videos out there showing how to repair carpet, showing how to patch carpet and stuff like that. So I would definitely recommend Go Coast Flooring. I'll leave a little, uh, a little teaser click right here for him if you want to check his channel out. And again, if you wouldn't mind to hit the subscribe button over here and hit the like button down below there. We appreciate you watching.